This here... It matches every description of the file that I've found in law. But if it can't hold liquid, there's no way of knowing. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing some more Skyrim missions. In this video, I'm going to be clearing off some missions from the mission tree. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of a bonus for this, showing you an easy dungeon, very easy, one of the easiest ones in Skyrim. And the mission I'm doing is White Bile. And it's given to you by Norellian in Windhelm. And again, it's not a bad mission. Um, again, I'm just clearing some stuff off the mission tree. And I'm going to show you the easiest dungeon ever. And it's right up a certain path. This location is called, you find it, your, your Grimm's Overlook, and it's easy. You got two skeletons to take down, and that's it. You get some treasure here. Uh, this burial will earn a couple, couple gold, the healing potion. You got some steel ingots here. And then the hard part, this expert lock. This is where I tell you, have a hundred lock picks because, or some way to increase your ability to lock pick with enchantments or potions. Because some of these locks, when you get above apt, like expert and master, you're breaking lock picks all over. And you gotta be careful because. If it's not precise, you're snapping picks. And I'm just going to let this play out, then talk some more after. value of the treasure varies, but now you walk down this steps, down this path, which I mentioned a specific path, and it brings you to the cave where the white file is located. And you have to deal with a ice wraith or bear or something of suitable level for your character. In this case, an ice wraith. I'm going to fire breathe him and then attack him and beat him down. Ah, crap. Running away, a little chicken. And nope, I can't fire breathe him. So let's take his teeth. And then this is the path area right near the Forsaken Cave where Norellian says the white file is located and right here you got to retrieve the white file you walk into this cave there's some urns on the outside check them out you get some decent treasure here um bleeding crown again alchemy ingredients are always important i've explained how alchemy is an essential skill. I'm going to go sneaky, sneaky here and walk my way through this dungeon. The creatures you encounter on the outside here are going to be level appropriate. They can be cave bears, 
um, white cave bears, uh, frost bears, trolls, ice wraiths are probably not the most um, potent creatures. Again, depending on your level, you're going to get these various creatures. There's these urns. You want to check them out. And I'm going to check out. I didn't see the ice wraith. But hey, there's a bunch of my arrows, which I'm picking up. And now nothing for the ice wraith. That sucks. So you keep walking. There's usually two of the same creature. Again, you got the ice wraith. I'm going to fire breathe, shout him, and then switch to my swords to attack him. Now that he's taken down, take the teeth and the elixir. Now over here, I'm going to point this out. There's this urn first. And then this area right here is where you're going to exit. Search the urns after or before, it doesn't matter. But this is where you exit. And it's sealed, so you can't enter. And you got to go through that entrance in front. Take a look here, nothing here. Take a look at the other area here, nothing here. And you just go through the front here. And again, I'm going to switch to being sneaky because there's some bad guys in this area. Um, not major bad guys, but they can make your life difficult. And walk through here. I'll probably fast forward if I feel it gets a little too long, but this is actually a fairly short dungeon. And a plate. Nothing worth value. And let's see. Again, I'm going to fast forward if I feel that things are getting a little too long. But I can tell you there's a Draugr up front here. That's what you're going to encounter in this dungeon is Draugrs. The undead. And you got to sneaky up on them. You're not going to take anything more dangerous. High level Draugrs is about it. And eventually one is going to pop up here. I can kind of hear him in the background. I don't have the background noise on because it can be a little distracting at some point. But yeah, there's a Draugr somewhere. Two Draugr, and that was a beautiful kill shot. Now you walk up here, and there's nothing around. I don't hear any other bad guys creeping around, so bone meal, gold, whatever. And this is another interesting thing about this dungeon is you can find ancient Nord stuff. And by ancient Nord stuff, I mean a helmet and some boots. But I got to watch out for a possible Draugr around the corner. There he is. Up, oh, he sees me. Restless Draugr and his buddy. I can take them both down relatively quickly. Both are restless Draugrs. A couple of shots and they're down. Easy enough. And right here are ancient Nord boots and ancient Nord helmet. 
It's heavy armor. You can improve it with steel. And it looks pretty cool. But I digress. Let's check out these Draugr. What do they got on them? Gold, my arrow back. And bone meal, gold, my arrow back. And let's go sneaky, sneaky on here. There, this is a little more um, urns. Search those. Things can get a little more hectic here. I'm going to let it play out. Someone sees me. Now they don't. Let's let things play out here. One more restless draugr. Now you got this table here with ingots and the mirror, which increases blocking. Another iron ingot. And then you got this door down here with an ept lock. And again, lots of lock picks. I'm going to fast forward through the picking process. Boom is open. Uh, treasure chest here has some decent stuff. An elven great sword. Not bad. Now it's got a burial urns here. Some extra gold. Not bad. I'm going to fast forward through to the next major event because this dungeon's kind of a little, even though it's small, it's a little slow. kind of tell the regular Draugr from the ones you got to kill if they're sleeping. Ah, gold ingots. This is awesome. I forgot this tomb actually has uh, some very valuable metal ingots. Now, the difference between that's a Draugr you can kill, you, they're wearing armor. And if you attack them while they're resting, they're easy to take down. Now, the skeletons here and other Draugr, there's one coming around here. I want to try and lure him into setting himself on fire. A Draugr White, far more powerful than the restless ones, but easy to take down once you let them set themselves on fire. You don't want to step on those triggers there because you get set on fire. Now let's take care of nothing in the urn. I'll take care of this guy. Like I said, easy enough to do. You know they're sleeping and you don't want them popping up in mass. Yeah, that was a nice kill shot. That's why I uh, stopped it here. I admit the guy went down quick. It's a Draugr. I'm going to fast forward a little more through to some more interesting events. And yeah, I just did that for the kill shot. Okay, now this area, you got this Draugr here, Restless Draugr, who cast magic. Drop him. And then there is a treasure chest. I'm going to cast Alteration, Candlelight, very useful. I probably should increase the lightness of the game, but I won't. Draugr here, and Silver Ingots, yeah. 
Very, very nice. Rare metal ingots, a healing potion. The bowl is 10, leave it. Anytime a bowl is less than 20, uh, don't pick it up. And let's continue forward here. You got these two guys. You don't want to step on that round area. Ah, nice kill shot. Boom, down. Don't step on that round area. Do not step on that. And I'll show you why. But let's see. There is, check this area out. There is this door. Oh, God, an expert lock. I'm going to fast forward here. It went easier than I thought, and it helped level up my character, so I'm going to take a moment and level up. I'm going to spend the money on magic, and I still have two perk points. Oh, achievement, unlock. Yippee, 25 expert, whatever. Uh, let's see. Hand to hand. Oh, I'm going to add to arms. There you go. I'm going to increase and move out. Where can I spend the other perk point? Nowhere. So let's kind of fast forward through this dungeon a little bit. I'm quick save here. Promise I would show you why not to walk onto that round area. Well, it raises up and it smashes you against some spikes. So let's continue on, and again, I'm going to fast forward. After that beautiful kill shot, um, you come upon the doors here, which lead to the trap here which sucks and once you get through the trap without trying to get yourself killed and he you have to heal you come across upon curd corral mill he's a draugr lord and you got to fight him and there's a bunch of other draugrs that come in and attack you he's got that shout which disarms you which i hate and now I got to get reset. Weapons, potions, healing. Yeah, this is not going to work out well. Oh, God, I can already tell you this. Uh, yeah. Healing potion, paralysis. Yes, let's see if that works. Nope, don't work on him. And, uh, yeah. My heavy armor's increased. What's gonna happen? Oh, I'm dead now. Gotta start over again. Good thing I quick saved somewhere, and hopefully I don't. Yep. Gonna fast forward to where I did something and see if I can fight these guys again. To save myself some time, I'm quick saving here. And now, work my way through these, uh, crap. Get the candlelight going. Get the dwarven shield. I'm going to need the shield. And sometimes being a dual fighter sucks. I'm going to come up here, fire blast him, and fight him with a shield and sword and heal. I'm going to let the fight play out so you can see it, and I'm going to stop talking now.
At lower levels, being a dual-wielding character is kind of difficult. So I switched to the shield, and obviously, ooh, Ebony War Axe. Obviously, things worked out a lot better. No wonder why my character was getting hacked up. An Ebony War Axe? Ouch. These things uh, had better weaponry than my character. But now I'm back to dual wielding. Uh, let's see. I want to explore this area here. I'll take a look around. First, before I go into the other area. Ah, Dragon Word. Dragon Wall Word thing. Come on, what is it? Word of power learned, kill, mark of death. Hey, that's actually not a bad shout. Ring of recharging, eminent alteration. Wow, I'm actually getting a ton of enchanted stuff. Let's check out these areas. Nothing of value. And where the hell is that one Draugr who ran off? I can't find him. I don't really care about him. I'm going to go down the center here, and here we have where we need Nuriel's or Norellian's uh, mixture. It activates this bowl, and it opens up a secret panel here where you can find the white file. And after you grab the white file, cracked white file, this area has a ton of apothecary and other ingredients. Just pick everything up, including the bowls and all the ingredients. Oh, my Lord, there's a lot here. Oh, yeah. Charis eggs are awesome. Different potions here. You go over here, get all this stuff gathered up. Again, you just keep gathering up the ingredients, including the bowls. You can dump those later. You got this with all this stuff in it. Oh my gosh, there is a ton of stuff you can use to craft. Even grab the plate. Why? Because you just dump it later. Oh, what's up here? Yeah, let's just grab everything. Come over here. There is a book that increases your alchemy level, but my I've already read a book like it. I'm just grabbing everything here and this apothecary thing. And around here, what's up here? The file. Um, now I'm going to get rid of all the um, stupid bowls I don't need. Yeah, all, all these couple bowls that are not high level, 20 or higher. Get rid of the plates. What else can I get rid of? Okay, everything looks good. Now you can do some crafting. And you got this giant lichen here. And again, damage magic regen. Yeah, that's a high level potion. With alchemy, you can do a lot. I'm going to fast forward. that Draugr showed up. Now, once you get done with this, um, how shall I say, location, dungeon, you enter Forsaken Cave, you walk through, there's another lever you pull down, and you've got this area. Uh, you walk back through the cave, and you transition out. I'm going to cut to the white file and the conversation to Norellian using the natural transition in Skyrim. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. My master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much from him. Until next time. This here, it matches every description of the file that I've found in lore. 
But if it can't hold liquid, there's no way of knowing. How did you manage to damage it then? This is what I get for not retrieving it myself. Figures. I doubt you have sufficient knowledge to harm the file, even if you wanted to. Either way, this is the end of it. Now, if you'll excuse me, <laughs> I'm not quite in the mood to entertain guests. I trust you can show yourself out. Here's for your trouble. I don't appreciate loiterers. That's what you're I want to thank you for your help. I know my master can be a bit short at times. Here, you should have this. Even though the file was damaged, I still think your efforts deserve reward. Now, if you'll pardon me, I'm going to tend to Norelian. I can make his final days a bit less painful. I'll never have master. Norellian's kind of curmudgeon y old douchebag. But at least his apprentice made good and you got 500 gold. And you can buy stuff from him and sell stuff. Uh, this concludes White File. There is uh, another, um, how shall I say, uh, adventure tied to this. It happens later on. I'll probably do a video about that. But hey, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, and I do four videos a week, unless I've announced otherwise. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Leave comments. I like comments. I respond to them. And if you like this type of video, again, I make possibly four a week, and you don't want to miss out. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, and you will be notified when I post new videos. And as always, thank you for stopping by.